listeners who, who are listening this time, Wait a minute. are you very, very thankful to Lord? Thank you, my Lord, that you will be at this time. And I Praise the Lord God's children, because this is a day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. To, Welcome to In the Master's Hands with Elder Anyat Mashi. And all of the Master's Hands broadcasts are Christian internet, radio, and TV talk shows directed at educating, edifying, and helping the body of Christ to gain understanding of God's Word and to know just who you are in Jesus Christ. Today we're delighted to bring you the weekly program with my co-host Elder Anyat Mashi, who is streaming live from Pakistan. Although we've had victory over the Pakistan uh, electrical situation on very rare occasions, the feed does go off the air. If that happens, stay with us. We'll continue to broadcast. Also, please do not Skype in during the broadcast. It causes a system overload and it'll interrupt our programming. So I've opened our chat lines. You can chime in at any time on the chat, chat lines and during the broadcast later on. We have a discussion period and we'll, we'll bring up those messages and talk about them. I'd like to introduce my co-host, Elder Anyat Mashi, right now. He is from Jahania District, Hanawal, Punjab, Pakistan. He's an anointed minister of the gospel, heads up an evangelistic team spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout Pakistan. Elder Anyat continues to serve the Lord as assistant director of ministry of the Jahania branch of the Master's Touch Healing School of Ministry International. And he's always prepared an anointed message to share with us, so let's go to him right now. Hello, brother. How are you? <laughs> yeah, da, yeah. <laughs> My dear sister, it is a blessing for me <laughs> that uh, from Pakistan. Amen. I am here to convey the message of the Lord to everywhere there will be go the voice and uh, of broadcasting. And this is a blessing for me that God has chosen me and called me for this. And uh, I am also very, very thankful to my dear sister Stephanie uh, because... Uh, this is all due to the will of Lord. We are nothing. We are nothing. I don't know every everyone, uh, everybody. But I am, I am very thankful that our our Lord, our Heavenly Father, and we are the children of of our Heavenly Father. And maybe we are in the state. Maybe we are in Pakistan. Maybe we are in every part of the world. We are his sons and daughters, and it is a blessing for us. And uh, I also very excited that uh, this time, while I am here, the main topic uh, today uh, is that uh, we have to follow the while we are the followers of Jesus Christ, then we have to follow his commandments and uh, his uh, preaching and today my topic that is uh, i want to share with you that is the matthew chapter uh, 5 matthew chapter 5 hallelujah here we read maybe we already uh, read so many times uh, the blessings uh, for the uh, for such persons whom God loves, and they are blessed people. And here we can see, seeing the multitude, he went up on a mountain. And when he was seated, his disciples came to him. Then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying. My dear ones, here we can, we can see in our hearts that once while Jesus was preaching towards the crowd, there was so much crowd there gathered, and Jesus preached to them, and he went on a mountain, and when he, he seated, his disciple came and said, he opened his mouth and taught them saying, My dears, that was time Jesus was preaching, Jesus was saying, Jesus was speaking towards that crowd. But now, while we are listening, this message, this word of God, that is the, that is the proceeding the seed, a word's uh, voice 
so therefore it is we we should think that the word of god is for me and jesus is preaching to me just now and he is saying blessed are the poor in spirit for there is a kingdom of heaven this is the first blessing and this is for the poor in spirit my dear while i was thinking while as i was in prayer before jesus christ to understand this message then first of all i i i i, I request to my lord that holy spirit uh, uh, teach me about the hearts and here we can see the two kinds of hearts we see that jesus opened his mouth and said blessed are the poor in spirit my dear listeners here we can image about the two heart the rich heart and the poor heart in spirit and i want to say that jesus not explained about the rich rich heart he explained about the poor in spirit heart and we shall see if what is the poor heart because it is said blessed are the poor in spirit for there is a kingdom of heaven so it is necessary if we want to see want to enter the kingdom of heaven that god god want that we should have the poor heart in spirit but we have to understand what is the poor uh, heart in spirit this is very very important and while i was thinking about it then the holy spirit taught me that such heart that has the proudness that is the hard heart that cannot uh, bear anything that is the rich heart and jesus not explained about the rich heart he said that blessed are such person blessed is the man blessed is the woman blessed is the children who has a poor in spirit hallelujah my dear while i was uh, seeing about it then a very good example came into my mind and that was the man who was very rich and there was there was uh, a man also other and he was very poor and he was put there so that whatever fell from his table he ate and he was there his body was also uh, filled with sores and he was very very poor but we see that one day came when the rich man died and the angel took him and put him into the hell and one day the the poor man also died and uh, dead and he was also uh, brought by the angel to the uh, lap of bosom of the father abraham my dear we can see there the condition was very miserable for the rich man no doubt while he was in the world he enjoyed with a luxurious life he ate a very delicious meals very good foods and enjoyed very much but when he died he was put into the hell and there was very very miserable condition for him and in this way the 
poor person, the poor uh, man was also went there, but he was in the bosom of Abraham. And while he saw the poor man, he, he, he watched him and requested to Abraham, O oh father, please send this poor man to me so that he dip his finger in water and, and uh, 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 put on my uh, tongue. But Abraham explained, no one can go there and no one can come here because there is very, 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 very distance among us. While you were in the world, you enjoyed so much. But this poor man led a very, very miserable life. So, my dear one, while in these days, while we are passing our life in, in this uh, stage, maybe we, maybe we have to spend a very, very poor life, but we, we don't worry at all. We should be thankful to our Lord. We, because there is a very good place that is that is prepared for us by our Heavenly Father. Jesus said, I am going there. There are so many houses for you. And uh, um, I, I will take you there. Hallelujah. So my dear, this is an example. But in, in the same way, I want to uh, tell you that uh, uh, the poor in spirit heart is such heart that is humble. There is no proudness in this uh, in that heart. So we should be very, very humble in every way so that because the, hem, the kingdom of God is for such persons. So first of all, the, the saying of Lord that was explained in verse 1 and 2, we can see that blessed are the poor in spirit. So I want to say, while we are listening, we should understand that it, at, at what place we are. No doubt we are doctor, no doubt we are teacher, we are professor, we, we are engineers, where we are. We should deal our body needs with a very, very kind way, having the poor heart in our spirit. Hallelujah. Then, then it will be blessed for us and, and the king, and, and kingdom of God will inherit uh, uh, for us. Hallelujah. So, in the third verse, we shall see, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And my dear, while I was also thinking about this verse, for this blessing, then the Holy Spirit told me how can we be blessed being the morning. And what is the morning? Hallelujah, hallelujah. My dear, so many times we are tortured, we are grieved, we are worried. So many anxieties come in, uh, into our heart and then we become sad. There, there we, we are very, very in miserable condition. But I want to explain here also two examples. How Paul and Silas were in the prison. He was put into the prison because they were preaching about the Jesus Christ, about the about our Lord. Then we see that they were put into the prison and they were in very, very miserable condition. Very, very miserable condition that time. And when the half night was passing, they were in the prison, but they were, hallelujah, praising, thanksgiving to Lord by singing the song, hallelujah, in, in grief. In morning, they were in very good mood and they were praising the Lord. Hallelujah. So, we should think about it. What happened? 
what happened? The, the, in no time, there was a miracle happened. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And Jesus, our Heavenly Father, uh, sent a very, very uh, such situation there that the doors of the prison were opened in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> So, my dear, no worries at all. In any place, you will be very blessed, as Jesus said. So, if we are in a condition, just mourning condition, just worrying condition, just torturing condition, then we have to no worries, but only thanks given to Lord, and we can see that that God will help us, and He will brought out us uh, uh, in, in, in any in such condition. And uh, uh, then, uh, I, while I was uh, while I was studying about this, uh, this time I, I, I also uh, have the problem of life, and I cannot read uh, 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 thoroughly, but I I am. Thankful, I am also uh, ready because Jesus is Jesus is with me and Holy Spirit is guiding me. So uh, I want to tell you that uh, the second uh, time what happened, we can see about the Daniel, Belshazzar. What happened that time? Two times he was examined in torturing position while the Sajak and Meshach and Abdul Jew were put into the fire, into the, into fire, and we can see that there was, was a very, very miserable condition. And uh, the, that, that was commanded to put into the fire if they uh, did not go before the, uh, the picture of the, that uh, king. But there is very, 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 very uh, such satisfaction for us. Daniel, uh, book of Daniel, and uh, chapter 3 and verse 17 to 19, we can see that they were very bold. And they said, O king, we, we, we do not... Uh, understand that uh, in this way, in this mean, we, we have no answer for you. At what place, what will happen with us, will be, a, and, and uh, uh, you understand that we will never go before the picture uh, of you, uh, but we, we will pray and we will uh, uh, worship before the Lord. So, my dear, we can see they were put into the fire and there was a great many. So in this way, they were saved by the law. And and in next time, they were also put into the uh, cave of the den of the lions. This was also for them a very, very uh, critical position. This is, this is the time while we are mourning, while, while we are in touching position, but Jesus said, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. And we see that they were, they were comforted. Hallelujah. So therefore, this time, while we are listening, this is comfort, comforting message for us. No, no worried at all. At, at what stage we are? Uh, as Paul says, what thing will separate? Uh, me from the Lord love. No thing can separate to us from the Jesus love. No torturing, no worrying, no loss, no disease, not anything at all. So this is very, very important that this message is very, very blessed for us, but we should understand and we should follow the Jesus uh, preaching and uh, uh, next week we shall see, uh, blessed are the meek.
for they shall inherit the earth my dear in these days while we are passing in these days every one person wants that he he should have the status life he should have the uh, luxurious life and uh, for this he wants greedy manners so many greedy manners and he forgets the teaching of the jesus christ but here we can see that we should be humble in every way because it is the uh, preaching of lord so we uh, we should be very very meek if we want to inherit the earth and uh, enter the kingdom of lord so there uh, i want to explain with you about the meekness and this is very important and uh, there is a very very good example for us and that is uh, we see in philippian chapter 2 and uh, this is the uh, uh, example of jesus christ before us how jesus uh, uh, gave us this example yeah, just philippian chapter 2 hallelujah philippian chapter 2 and verse we shall read 1 to 11 therefore if there is any consolation in christ if any comfort of love if any fellowship of the spirit if any affection and mercy fulfill my joy be being like minded having the same love being of one accord of one mind let nothing be done uh, through selfish ambition or conceit but in lowliness of mind let each esteem other better than himself this is the meekness i i think that we should we should think in our mind that is said let each esteem other better than himself but we want to be think better than other uh, but the teaching of, of uh, jesus christ uh, teaches us that we should that we should esteem others better than ourselves let each of you look out not only for his own interest but also for the interest of others oh hallelujah this is very very difficult i think impossible but we should make it possible we should be uh, made it possible because it is just our uh, teaching of the jesus christ whatever in the message of lord tells us we should uh, look out not only for his own interest but for the interest of other my dear let us mind be in you which was also in christ jesus who being in the form of god did not consider it robbery to be equal with god hallelujah hallelujah we are going ahead and for thinking and for considering and keeping in our heart about the jesus teaching because he was the form of god hallelujah came in this world for me and for you and for everyone so my dear he did not consider robbery to be equal with god but made himself of no reputation uh, taking the form of bond servant and coming into likeness of men uh, in the previous days we celebrated the resurrection day we celebrated the risen day of our jesus christ and 
there we can see the humbleness of our Lord on the cross. He was not sinner. He had no sin in his life, but he became sinners for us. And he took every sin for that was my sin, that was all over the sins, but he went on the cross for me and crucified himself. But we see, we see, my dears, that how he was risen and he was victorious uh, on the grave and he became victorious, hallelujah. And now his grave is empty and he was given the good name that we read. And being born, found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself. This is the meekness, my dear. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. That was a curse death. Hallelujah. Therefore, this is a this is a high rank that was given to Jesus Christ. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. I mean, yeah. so my dear, if we also want that we should be, um, uh, we should be, uh, we should be blessed, then it is very important that we should be, we should humble just like our Jesus Christ was humble. And uh, uh, I also gave some examples here uh, that uh, uh, in Matthew chapter 25, Matthew chapter 25, hallelujah. people 
dislike us, no matter the people torture us, no people, no matter that we are uh, uh, that we are mourned in many ways, but we be we have to humble in every way, and then we will be very very blessed. So this is uh, the verse that we are uh, that that is for us. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came into me. And then the righteous will answer him, saying, "God, when did we see you hungry, and you and feed you?" Are thirsty and give you drink. When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothed you? Oh, hallelujah, my dear ones. This is the message for me, for you, and for everyone who is listening this time. And we have to take in our mind, or when did we see you sick or in prison and come? to you and the king will answer and say to them surely i say to you in as much as you did it to one of the last of these my brethren you did it to me so therefore we have to understand while we are passing our days of life in this world we have to understand and we have to keep the message of lord in our heart that if we want that one day when we will the, in the presence of lord then what will be blessed you think when uh, then we, we will when we will be asked to those just like having the right hand come you blessed hallelujah Oh hallelujah! It is a blessing that that we 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 should listen these words. Come, you blessed to my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you. Hallelujah! So, my dear, this was a, a, a blessing for us, and uh, we shall go ahead and uh, uh, see the next verse, uh, Matthew chapter five. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst of righteousness, for they shall be filled. So, my dear, while I am sharing with you, this verse is not for hungry, not for thirsty, but. It is it is about the hungerness and thirstness about the righteousness, and we want to uh, we want to understand that uh, what is righteousness, and while uh, we see about the righteousness, <coughs> then we see about it th that uh, every kind of the situation that we preach for the for the lord and and uh, that is according to the will of lord that is righteousness and it is explained uh, in uh, we shall see it uh, matthew chapter 5 uh, chapter 5 and verse 38 We shall see verse thirty-eight. You have heard that it was said, "You have heard that it was said, an eye for an an eye, and tooth for a tooth." But I tell you not to resist an evil person, but whoever Slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. 
my dear this is a breach Well, it looks like my brothers and sisters, we've lost the connection with uh, Brother Inyat. He'll be back momentarily, if uh, God willing. <laughs> if not, don't worry, we're going to continue to broadcast. Um, uh, right now, what I'll do is I'll talk to you a little bit about some of the messages that we have received already as we're hoping to get this uh, uh, line restored. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And someone says, does this mean that the poor in spirit are those whose eyes are on the carnal things but are seeking the kingdom? We're told to keep our eyes on spiritual things above or in Christ, and we will own the kingdom of heaven when we do. That we come to God in our spiritual poverty and humble ourselves. And that's exactly right. As you heard uh, Brother Inyat talking about this, uh, it is exactly what we're talking about, humbling ourselves before the Lord, recognizing the fact that we are actually poverty-stricken in, uh, in our spirits. We're, we need a Savior, you know, okay? And that's what that means. And then uh, another uh, uh, listener says, uh, meek equals strong. When we, when we invoke the vocabulary of silence and turn the other cheek, we are actually exhibiting strength of character instead of getting in the flesh and acting out. So meekness is strength. That's true, too. And that, that applies to a couple of others these, of these beatitudes that he's talking about today. Um, but um, that, this is his message. Here he comes. Okay, good. He's coming back. Let's just get a hold of him. Oh, you're ho you're back with us. Good. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, yes, my dear sister, uh, this, this, there was signal problem. Yes, we're back uh, on. Uh, no, no, I am again uh, sorting. Okay. And uh, uh, we will we uh, we were uh, talking about the righteousness. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, and uh, we can see here that if anyone want to show so you and take away your uh, uh, tunic let him have your cloak also and whoever c compel you to go one mile go with him too give to him who ask you and uh, from him who want to borrow from you do not turn away you have heard that it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy, but I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. My dears, this is the preaching of Lord. This is the teaching of our Jesus Christ. Now we should think, we should understand how can we uh, deal with others. So this is very important that we should keep, if we want to be blessed person, uh, such, uh, uh, such as it is explained in uh, uh, on the mountain while Jesus was preaching to the multitude. And uh, as I said that nowadays, while we are listening, it is the message of Lord for us, for me and to you, everybody. So therefore, we should keep in our mind that how, what God wants from us, how we should be hunger and thirst for the righteousness of Lord. So this is very important. And then we can say that we are the son, we are the daughter, we are the children and of Lord and uh, one uh, uh, one uh, thing more I want to explain about the righteousness and we shall see uh, Galatian how Paul says uh, in Galatian chapter 2 
chapter 2 and uh, verse 16 to 21. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Christ Jesus, that we might be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law. By the works of the law, no flesh shall be justified. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners. Is Christ therefore a minister of sin? Certainly not. For if I build again uh, those things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I, through uh, the law, died to the law that I might live to God. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but <clears throat> Christ lives in me. And in the life which I now live, in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So, therefore, my dears, it is very important for us while we are listening that we should keep in our mind how, how we are leading our lives. And then uh, we shall see next blessing. And it is verse 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And uh, my dear, <clears throat> we should be merciful person. We should have a merciness in our heart while we are dealing with others. But we should, we should understand while we have got the chance, why we do? Just not only for our relatives, not our neighbors, but every person. A very good example we learned from the message, uh, scripture of Lord, and that was uh, the person who was who was uh, who was indulged in robbers, and there we 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 can see that there. They, they just like a priest, just like a uh, other person came there and they hated him and went away. But there a Samrit came and he took pity upon him. He was merciful. And he took him to the inn and, uh, ex uh, and uh, uh, look after him. So my dear it is very important while we are the follower of Jesus Christ, we have the mercifulness in our heart. Keeping the mercy, we have to be merciful to others. So it is very, very important. And then we can, when we can say that we are the sons of Lord. And after that, we shall see uh, uh, blessed are the merciful uh, uh, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the blessed thing to see the God. But whom will see the God? Who will, who will presence in the, who will, uh, uh, who will sit with the, in the presence of Lord? And this is said, who are pure in heart. My dear ones, what are necessary for the purity of heart? And, and we should understand that God have an eye upon us and he knows what is, uh, what is in our heart this time. What, is, what we think uh, for others. Uh, so uh, it, we should uh, see that uh, uh, about, this, uh, about this, we can see that Jesus, our Lord, 
do not want to see the evil. So therefore, purifying of the heart is very important. And uh, we, how can we make our heart purify? My dears, the blood of Jesus Christ uh -huh. that is shed upon over the cross. That is very, very blessed for us to purify our heart. And we can read about purifying uh, Colossians chapter 3. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 3. Chapter 3 and verse 12 to 7. See this? 12 to 17. Hallelujah. Here we can read. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, community, meekness, long suffering, bear with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you are called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing uh, one another in poems and hymns and spiritual song, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. And whatever you do in word, RD, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through Him. I mean, so my dear uh, listeners, this is the blessings for whom who have the purified heart. So as we are uh, Learning from the message of Lord, it is very, very important to keep in our mind mm -hmm. because if we want to be blessed uh, person, then it is very, very important and uh, then, then we will uh, be very, very glad and very, very happy and there will be joy <clears throat> in our hearts um, uh, as we see the, uh, the motif chapter 2 um, Timothy and uh, uh, chapter 2 2 Timothy chapter 2 and uh, we shall see uh, verse 19 verse 19 tells us nevertheless the solid foundation of God stands Having this seal, the Lord knows those who are his, and let everyone who name the name of the Christ depart from in guilty. Hallelujah. But in the great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, it is a good example here, but also of wood and clay some for honor and some of dishonor. Therefore, if anyone uh, cleanliness himself from the latter, he will be vessel for honor and uh, sanctified and useful for the master prepared for every good work. So, uh, my dear, it is very important because if we <coughs> want that... Uh, uh, we want to see the Lord in our heart, in, in the appearance, then it is very, very necessary that we should be purified in our heart. And then uh, the second verse that is explained in 
uh, ahead. Uh, blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called sons of God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It is also very blessing for who will be called the sons of Lord. If we want that we should be called just like the son of God, then there should be, we should be peacemaker. And uh, we should uh, think just now that what a condition in our homes, in our areas, in our country, in our world, how can we remove the battles and how can we make the peace among the world? My dear, we should understand that our Jesus is the Prince of Peace. If we shall follow him, then there will be peace everywhere. But what, at what time we will not take in our mind uh, the Jesus love in our heart, there, there should be very far, there should be a uh, battle, there should be very, very mishappening in this world. But if we want that there should be peace in every way, that Jesus came for me and for you, for all the world. And he wants that uh, we should have peace in the world. Oh, my dear, it is very important for being the Christian, the, for the believers, that a good response is given to us, very good task is given to us, and that is the peacemaker. And we should uh, play a role among the world not only in our home, homes, not only our in country, but all over the world. This is the message for every one of us because uh, the uh, because the, our Jesus command go all over the world. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the last one thing that is very important and that is blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness. Seek for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. My dears, persecution is very, very torturable thing. And uh, it is not only at one place, but we can see in the world everywhere such, such uh, incidents are happening, a uh, persecution. But if for a little while we should think that the Christianity is not the bed of roses. Christi Christianity have a just role that Jesus gave us an example. He was not sinner, but he, he suffered. Hallelujah. Torturing, mocking, slapping in every way. So therefore it is very important. Oh, my dear, we should understand this time that if we are persecuted, then the last uh, verse uh, uh, today uh, of my message is the 11th verse. And this, this says us, blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you hallelujah mm -hmm. hallelujah my dears my dear listeners i want to say you that we should not worry at all if we are persecuted, if we are in torturing, if we are suffering, then as the message of Lord, the word of Lord tells us that you are the blessed person. So therefore, if we want to have the blessing life, that we should thanks given to Lord in every way as we uh, learn this, this day. So my dear, this was the message that was given to me. May God bless us in every way so that we uh, keep in our mind the blessing of Lord and then 
we should change our mind, change our life as the word of Lord teaches us. God bless you in every way. And the broadcasting uh, program that is uh, uh, broadcasted by uh, Sister Stephanie, I also pray for my dear sister and all the management. So God bless you in every way. And this uh, uh, seed of God may be very, very fruitful, just like hundred times, as the uh, word of God says. Amen. 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 Thank you. I want to thank you, Elder Anya, Sorry. for sharing that wonderful Sorry. message with us today. Right Sorry. now, if you desire to come Sorry. into and dwell in the miraculous presence of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, if you desire to be in Christ and avail yourself of his marvelous wisdom, you must give your life to him. It's very simple. It's pain-free. And you just have to repeat this prayer. Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner and surrender my life to you. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me and set me free for all eternity from all my sin. I believe that you rose from the dead and sit at the right hand of God the Father. Take over my life and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I renounce the devil and all sin. And Lord, I receive from you the gift of righteousness, total forgiveness of all my sins, past, present, and future, divine health, wholeness and restoration, Sorry. your protection, your direction, your provision, your peace, and the gift of everlasting life. Hallelujah. I'm yours. Come into my heart. Take over my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer with us, then you are born again and welcome to the family of God. Please contact us and let us know that you have accepted Christ. We want to follow up and send you some vital information on your next steps in Christ. Now, my brother... <clears throat> Do you have any announcements you want to make? Any further uh, uh, statements you want to make to the listeners? Do you have anything more? <laughs> uh, yeah, dear sister, this is the time. Uh, I explained, uh, I shared with you and with my listeners that while we are persecuting, mm -hmm. we should not worry at all. That's right. No matter while we are in every uh, part of the country, if we are persecuted, then we should be glad, according to the will of Lord, according to the teaching of Lord. So you know, and everybody knows that uh, it, in what condition we are passing uh, our lives here, but we should not worry at all. But we should only pray for others who persecute us, because this is the reward, this will be the reward from us. Uh, from the Lord, and this is uh, will be the uh, very very blessing thing. But I I only request that uh, uh, this is the time that uh, uh, our only one weapon we can use against this thing, and that is pray. So therefore, it is very necessary that we should recall and we should remember each other before Jesus Christ in praying. So that whatever the condition may be, we should be not worrying at all. Only Jesus Christ is our Savior, and He will save us. And no matter if we are persecuted, we are we are murdered, we are anything, we will be very very uh, blessed. Yes. Amen. Uh, uh, now, now. Uh, 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 my dear sister. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, oh, back uh, to me. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I. Uh, yeah, Nasser, not, Nasser wants to uh, yeah. say something. Okay, wonderful. Uh, after message, uh -huh. uh, uh, he is allowed to say. Yes, please. Actually, I was just yeah. about ready to share what he had sent me about his ministry and what their programs are coming up. So uh, I'm happy yeah, to hear from him. Share you. Okay, you. wonderful. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much. You, God, God bless, bless you. Everybody. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome our brother Good Nasser. Good morning, other listeners. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Please share with us. Yeah, uh, I want to share something about our outreach ministry work. Uh, we have two programs in this month. Uh, um, first program on 12 April and second program on 
25 April, especially in outreach areas. I have to request all the listeners that please keep in your prayers because we need your prayers because we are doing a God's work here and we need a lot of prayers and your support. And this is my request from Pakistani ministers. Please keep in your prayers. Thank you so much. Amen. Well, not only that, I know that these programs need funding. So um, if you if you have it on your heart that you'd like to help with this in any way, they're going to be distributing Urdu Bibles, uh, Bibles written in the Urdu language, and food for the children. And uh, they really need your financial support to get this word out and get these Bibles into their hands. So if you feel led to, to donate to their ministry, you can do so through... Um, through my ministry, I, I make sure they get their money, they get every penny of it, and we send it through Western Union. Um, and so you can feel free to do that, and I'll give you my contact information in a little bit. Um, and also, pray about this, folks, because um, if you're looking for an outreach, if you're looking for some place to help where help is really needed, this is a marvelous ministry to do it in. These people, I've known them for a long time, and they are what they say they are. They love the Lord, and they reach out to the others to, to bring Jesus Christ to the to the needy and the, and the impoverished and those people that are suffering. They do a wonderful work for the Lord. And um, so this is a good place to plant your seeds. Um, also, um, I have a, I've put up for uh, an opportunity for you to give in to... Uh, uh, the purchase of Urdu Bibles, uh, Bibles written in the Urdu language, uh, for the uh, people of Pakistan um, on IndiegoGo.com. And if you if you go there, you can uh, donate to that cause. We're trying to raise five thousand uh, dollars in uh, U.S. dollars to be able to uh, just shower them with Bibles. So if you want to help us meet our goal, that would be a marvelous thing too. You can contact me through my ministry, and I'll give you that information in a few minutes. But um, yeah, if you want to contact Elder Anyat Mashi, then please do so through Elder Anyat Mashi at gmail.com. That's E L D E R I N A Y A T M A S I H at gmail.com. Or you can also contact him through our website at Elder Mashi at the Masters Touch.org. That's E L D E R M A S I H at the Masters Touch. Dot org. And let me remind you that you can hear Elder Mashi streaming live directly from Pakistan every Friday at 7 a.m. Pacific time, and that's 7 p.m. in your Pakistani time zone. And that we have archived all of his broadcasts recently. I put him up on the website with his own page um, in the master's hands. You'll see it on the navigation bar, and then you can just click on that, and it'll take you right into his page where he has a little information about himself, his pictures there, and... Um, so you'll recognize him. And also, uh, we've archived all of his broadcasts so that you can go in and listen to these at your leisure. If you miss him on Friday and you can't get to him until, you know, Saturday morning or something, then you can always go in there any day, any time, any hour, and click on any one of his broadcasts and listen to his wonderful messages. Now, I invite you all to a tune in on Fridays to receive a blessing and a message from Elder Anyat Mashi right here on Ustream.tv and on uh, Spreaker.com. Everyone is welcome to come and join us. Remember, Proverbs 4, 7 tells us that wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and in all you're getting to get understanding. And my friends, that's exactly what we're doing here. We are seeking the wisdom of God and finding it. So be sure you're keeping Jesus Lord of your life. You know, um, the Master's Hands, in the Master's Hands is a subsidiary of the Master's Touch Healing School of Ministry International. We're a 501c3 organization. And you can contact the Master's Touch Healing School of Ministry on our website, themasterstouch.org. That's www.themasterstouch.org. Our email, masterstouchhs at cox.net. That's masterstouchhs at cox.net. Poet at cox.net. P-O-E-T at cox.net. Or mthsprayer at cox.net. That's mthsprayer at cox.net. Also, you can talk to me on my website, <laughs> Dr. Stephanie at themasterstouch.org. Now, um, once again, I just want to remind you how what a wonderful ministry this is, and to be sure to tune in every Friday to listen to these wonderful messages. Uh, Nasser, I'm so happy to be able to speak with you again and see you. It blesses my heart so. And Brother Anyad, I just love you so much, and your messages are always such a blessing. Um, 
I'm so glad that we've gotten a chance to hook up again. You know, the Lord is really moving. He's moving very mightily, and we are uh, doing what we're supposed to do. Spread the word of God, you know, and uh, I just, I just um, want to encourage everybody to uh, tune in and stay with this ministry because your ministry is vital right now, and especially in these times, um, in today's day and age, and what's going on in the world right now. So God bless you all, and. Um, uh, no. and yeah, uh -huh. yeah, sister. Now light is okay. Now power is. Okay. I see that. <laughs> folks just remember that you can reach uh elder anyat mashi and his family in this wonderful ministry through our ministry uh the masters and <clears throat> that's uh, when you go on our website look for in the master's hands and you can listen to his broadcasts god bless you all and um we'll see you next friday mm -hmm.